also, I just, because of, because of your work, I came across and exchanged a, a few emails with Patrick uh, McGovern, who's basically, what would you call him? So he has a center, I guess, that's does biomolecular archeology span at UPenn. Mm. And um, he's the author of a bunch of books, one of which is Ancient Brews. So he's a scholar of beer and wine <laughs> and, and like ancient alcohol, which is fascinating. The influence, even just alcohol, but he has like uh, alcohol with um, hallucinogenic properties as well. But it's fascinating the influ as a Russian, it's fascinating to, uh, to think about the influence of alcohol on the development of uh, human civilization throughout its history. Is, this, is there something you can comment on alcohol or in general Patrick's work that uh, was informative to you, inspiring, or kind of added to your conception of, uh, of human history? His work was some of the first hard scientific data that I saw for the ritual consumption of these intoxicants. Um, I don't think he's ever found the hard and fast data for, for psychedelics. But what he turned me on to was this idea that alcohol or beer and wine specifically could have been used as vehicles for the administration of psychedelics. That, that's where it all started for me. Um, just, just the notion that ancient beer and ancient wine is very, very different from what we drink today, that typically they, they were cocktails. They were often fortified and mixed with different fruits, berries, herbs, plants, maybe even fungi over time because this was all in the absence of distilled liquor, right? There is no hard alcohol, even in Russia, um, before maybe the 12th century it was in Europe, um, maybe a bit earlier. Um, but the, the, the concept of distillation just didn't exist. And so, you know, to pack a punch, um, you know, rather than just drink a, a kind of watered down Budweiser, mm -hmm. these people were interested in fortifying these beverages with whatever they could find in nature. And, and Pat, to his credit, found some of the initial data for these, um, you could say, spiked wines and spiked beers. Not with anything overtly psychedelic, but just the fact that in the 16th century BC, at, at Grave Circle A in Mycenae, there's this Minoan ritual cocktail of beer mixed with wine, mixed with mead, is very interesting. It's even more interesting that you find that across the Aegean um, in Gordium at King Midas's tomb, right? The same kind of ritual cocktail, which Pat and Sam at the Dogfish Head Brewery uh, resurrected as the Midas touch. So, I mean, the notion that we can go back, find this data, resurrect it, in some cases, 2,800 years later, I found pretty exciting 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, bring it back for research. <laughs> um, but that's, that's fascinating that people were playing with these ideas. 